Welcome to today's video. Denise Bout was born on January 19, 1982 in Morris, Louisiana, USA. She is an actress and producer, known for Why Did I Get Married? 2007, Extreme Movie, 2008, and Young Justice, 2010. She has been married to Kevin Bout since 2003. They have one child, a daughter Jordan. She attended LSU in Baton Rouge. She began LSU with a microbiology, primed major but graduated with a degree in mass communications, minor in marketing. She was valedictorian of her high school class and homecoming queen. Her maiden name is Denise Joseph. This video shares 10 things you need to know about the Meet the Browns actress. Subscribe to this channel for this and more. 1. Denise Bout is a down south girl at heart. In an interview with Hollywood Life, Denise shared that she's originally from Morris, Louisiana where most of her family still resides to this day. Denise shared that she returns home constantly to visit her loved ones, and spend every Christmas and New Year with them. The actress also told Hollywood Life that most of her childhood memories are from her grandparents' farm but that her absolute favorite is of picking eggs on the farm. 2. Denise told Hollywood Life in addition to producing her own film, she is gearing up for the release of her first cookbook, Southern Modified. 3. Hollywood Life reported that while working in the Dallas, Texas world of advertising, overseeing commercial and photo shoots for a range of clients' campaigns, Denise was introduced to life on set and on several occasions was asked by the client, to step in front of the camera, replacing the person who was actually cast. The initial resistance didn't last long and after being approached by a local talent agent, I found myself in front of the lens for a variety of print and commercial campaigns. A chance introduction landed me a talent manager, who I'm still with to this day, in Hollywood. Shortly after, I decided to take a leap of faith, packed my bags and headed west. Trust me. No one is more surprised by my career choice than me. It's been quite the journey, thus far and trust me when I say. I'm just getting started. She told Hollywood Life. 4. She loves playing Lara on Stan Against Evil. Authentic real-world settings are great but Stan Against Evil fulfilled my long-standing desire to create in the magical world of CGI and special effects. Denise told Hollywood Life. How exciting would that be? My character Lara is certainly a mystery worth exploring, lending herself to an array of compelling storylines. I fell in love with her strong, mysterious, invincible qualities and admired her vulnerabilities. 5. Her worst habit is not being blunt she told Sharp Magazine. Not being blunt and sugarcoating things and just not being very honest. In the last couple of years, that has changed, I think life happens and you just realize it's not worth candy coating. Just be real and that's that. If you want the truth you'll have it, but you have to be worth it. Like, if you're a close friend or family, don't ask me if you don't want to know the truth. 6. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Denise has an estimated net worth of $3 million. 7. Her favorite character that she's had to portray is Sasha she told Unrivaled magazine. She was pretty close to Denise. She was quirkier and a little more neurotic. Working on the set for such a long time, with other cast members became like a real family. Denise is best known for her role as Sasha Brown on the Tyler Perry series Meet the Browns. She has also played a role as Trina in Why Did I Get Married? 8. Her favorite healthy meal is savory sweet potatoes. My newest addiction is savory sweet potatoes, she told Naluda magazine in a December 2016 interview. My poor poor, what we Louisiana folks often call our grandfathers, had folks coming from miles around, because he was known for growing the best sweet potatoes in the South. I'm not sure if it was because I'd help with the planting, harvest, but at the time I couldn't stand them. Now, thanks to my cousin Chan's savory spin, I'm in love. 9. She enjoys a variety of music, but nothing tops her love for Neo Soul.
By then she was loving permission by Ro James and Solange's new album A Seat at the Table. 10. Her go-to travel destination is another visit to Paris in order to eat her way through the city. Next up would be a remote island. Thank you for watching.